In this video, we are going to discuss about the globe ball and its application. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the what is globe ball, working of globe ball, industrial application of globe ball, identification means how to identify the globe ball in the industry, advantages of the globe ball and in the last we will discuss about the disadvantages of the globe ball. So hello everyone welcome in Learn CHE. if you are new in our youtube channel you can subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon. So let's start the video with what is globe ball. So first we see the definition definition of the globe ball actually what is the meaning of the globe ball and what what is the definition of the globe ball because if initially if you are seeing something and you are studying something you should know about the definition okay so what is a globe ball globe ball is a type of ball okay and the fitting or we can say a mechanical device in the last video we discuss about the gate ball if you haven't watched that video you must watch that video and before that video we discuss about the wall okay where we discuss about the types of walls and naming of the walls and application of the walls why we use the walls in the industry so you must watch these two videos so that your understanding with respect to wall will be clear so globe wall is a type of wall which is used in a in the pipeline to regulate the flow okay it means that it is used in the pipeline to regulate the flow of flowing fluid means if there is any flowing fluid so it will regulate its flow got it my point in the gate wall gate wall was using or gate wall is used gate wall is used for the on off purpose right but in the case of globe wall it is mentioned here that it is used to regulate the flow that is very very important point which you must note okay the second thing is globe wall has a spherical body here you can see that in the globe wall case there is a spherical body right because of that spherical body it is known as the globe wall which name suggests that is a globe wall okay like we can say on the base of the shape of the body it is known as the globe wall okay and it consists a movable plug or disc and a stationary seat which is a ring type we will discuss about it right we will we will study about the plug or disc or stationary seat because it is the internal part of this wall here you will not see that but in upcoming slides we will discuss about the disc as well as the seat so here I hope you have understood and you would have a rough idea about the globe wall actually what is a globe wall right now we will discuss about the parts of the globe wall okay which globe wall you are seeing here now we will discuss about its parts and the working of that parts okay mainly we will discuss about the main parts of this globe wall so here you can see the pictures of the globe wall right here is the five parts of the globe ball which I have mentioned here. The first one is a body that is very very important and here in this video you can see that this is a body. This is the body of the wall okay and this body like you can see that this body is a main pressure containing structure of the wall and you can easily identify this body okay whenever you will see this wall in an industry so you can easily find that this is the body of the wall got it my point now there is a seat what is the meaning of seat so this portion this is a seat okay of the wall where this disc will be placed okay so next one is a disc so this disc will be placed now this disc can be of many types like the ball type this disc can be of many types like a ball type plug type and a composite type Okay, so, but the best flow regulation found in the plug type uh, we will discuss about it as well but here you can simply identify uh, here simply you can understood that what is the disc disc is this portion okay which will allow the flow to pass which will allow the which will allow the flow to pass or which will restrict the flow to flow 
okay means which will close this wall okay when this disc will placed in this seat completely so my wall will be closed when this disc will go away from this seat then this seat then it will be open got it my point now we have discussed about the seat we have discussed about the disc now what is the steam so this disc has connected with the steam so this is the steam okay okay this is the steam got it my point now this steam has a threaded portion because this wall is a manual operated wall this wall is a manually operated wall that's why there is a threaded portion sometimes you will see that there will not be threaded portion there will be smooth steam when we use here a actuator or when we say the control walls control walls with globe wall right that time there will not be that threaded portion there will be there will be the smooth steam got it and this is a hand wheel this is a hand wheel with the help of that you can close or open the wall and in the last there is a bonnet so this portion is a bonnet that is very very important which i personally see so what is the bonnet basically bonnet it prove like it prevent the leakage okay you can say that and and it provides a leak proof closure for the wall body okay and there may be a like three and four types of the bonnet the first one is a screw in screw in the second one may be union one union bonnet and the third one may be a bolted bonnet right so in the screw in this bonnet is a simple in structure durable and pressure tight seal okay in this case in the union bonnet in the union bonnet it it, it, it will use where there will be the like the there will be the application of the inspection and cleaning means where the application and inspection okay application of the inspection and cleaning will be required there we will use the bonnet type of the union bonnet right and in if we talk about the bolted bonnet so mainly it is used in the high application high application means high pressure application okay it is used where their high pressure applications are there got it my point so these are the main parts of the globe wall and in these parts the body seat and disc body seat disc and steam is very very important and bonnet is also important but you should must know about these parts and their work okay now we will discuss about the working of the globe wall what is the working of the globe wall so in the previous slide we discuss about the parts of the globe wall right now we will discuss about the working so here you can see that how the flow will go from here it will go like that right right now this wall is closed okay and so when suppose this my this line is connected this wall is connected to the pipeline and here is the fluid is flowing here is the fluid is flowing so fluid will go only till here right fluid will go only till here okay now what happened that i apply the anti clockwise motion i applied the anti clockwise motion so what will happen that my wall will start opening okay now let's suppose that this disc will go away from the seat so what will happen that this flow will go like that this flow will go like that means there will be the one passage of the flowing fluid so now my fluid will start flowing now this wall can be open 25% 20% or like it depends on the requirement right that's why we write that it regulate the flow so whether it can be open 20% 25% 50% 75% and 100% right now here you can see one thing like this is my fluid right so my fluid is first going like that then it is going like that okay then it is going like that right it will like go like that so here you can see that one two three means three times my fluid or my flowing fluid is changing its direction changing is 
its direction so what i am saying what i am going to tell you that the delta p means pressure drop will be high here got it my point in this case the delta p will be high but most of the cases okay most of the cases glow wall are used in the control wall most of the time you will see the control wall like you will see the glow wall with actuator and that is called as the control wall right i hope here you understood that what is the like how we open the glow wall or how what is the working of the glow wall now if you want to close it so what you will do you will simply provide the clockwise motion right and in the clockwise motion it will be closed okay now let's see the industrial application of the glow wall so what are the industrial application the first industrial application of the glow walls is that glow walls are mainly used for the corrosive or highly viscous fluids okay it is very effective while using for the corrosive fluids as well as for the highly viscous fluid which solidify at the room temperature but we cannot use here the gate wall okay because they are why because they are fully open or fully closed walls okay or on off wall and glow walls are also used as a control wall like we discuss about it which has an actuator if there is an actuator in case of this hand steam if there is a actuator so we can use or we use glow wall as a control wall or automated wall right and it is also used as a shut down wall because there is one thing that is very very important that is we use glow wall as a shut down wall because there is a stock length is very low okay less as compared to gate wall so what happened that we can easily shut down it okay we can use it as a shut down wall or we can say the emergency shut down wall and in the last we also know that it is used as a flow regulation okay now very very interesting question and the question is that how to identify the glow wall in a industry so so it is very easy to find the glow wall in a industry why because of its body okay most of the wall which you will see in the glow wall mainly most of the glow wall you will see that their shape will be like a or their body shape will be like a spherical okay that spherical body type wall is a globe wall but like in the modern time here are also some walls their body shape is not a globe so how to identify those walls so there you will see one thing there will be a one arrow the arrow like that okay and by the that arrow you can also find that this is a globe wall and this is not a gate wall okay that is a second thing and here you will see one thing in this case you can see one thing my fluid will go like that okay my fluid will go like that not like that okay why because here you can see one thing if my fluid will go like that so when i'll open this wall okay so i'll require less pressure means we can say it will be easily open but if we cannot allow our fluid from here to enter okay we cannot allow it we always allow our fluid to enter from he from here got it my point and that's why we can say that the stock length is less and here also you can simply say that the stock length is also less here and when when the fluid will like come from here it has also some pressure and it will also like push this stem or this disc away from the seat and so it helps us to open the wall but in the case of steam we send it from here we send it from here okay okay why because of the like we prevent it from the thermal expansion from the thermal expansion because when my wall will be closed so it will like it will provide the pressure from the inside right so due to this my fluid or this you can say the disc will like take some thermal resistance okay like we can say that this this disc will have some expansion in the structure or after the like suppose if there is not a steam so there will be the contraction and expansion contraction so what will happen that maybe this disc can contract in shape this disc can contract some uh, contract in shape 
and there may be a passage okay so you will see that most most of the time when the steam we apply so steam goes from like that okay so identification we were talking about so here you can see the first thing the uh, the second thing is this arrow and the first one is this shape and and one of the most important thing as well that is hand wheel and steam will go downward or upward together what is what is this means it means that in the case of gate wall in the case of gate wall what was happening that this hand wheel was fixed but this steam were going upward and downward but in this case in the case of globe wall this hand wheel right this hand wheel and this steam will go together okay this is the most most important like identification which you can see in our industry if you work in a industry you can see this okay so i hope that now you can easily identify the globe wall in a industry now what are the advantages of the globe wall so the first advantage of the globe wall is that the stock length is low okay that's why we can easily open it and close it okay as compared to the gate wall in the gate wall we require like more time okay we require the more time because that stock length is high okay first thing that is the advantage the second thing is glow wall is mainly used for the flow regulation or we can also say that it is most of the control walls has the glow wall okay and it is used as a tight set off that we have talked about okay and in the last due to less stock okay that is why it is used as a esv that is a emergency safety down wall okay that is very very important right in case of emergency suppose if we have to shut down okay we have to shut down the suppose there is a flowing fluid okay and we have to shut down that wall okay we do not want to go the, like go the flow okay and like we do not want to flow the flowing fluid so we can use the globe wall why because it is a emergency shut down wall and in the emergency shut down wall we also use the ball wall butterfly wall as well okay so these are the advantages of the globe wall if you know the more advantages of the globe wall and if you you know if you work in a industry you can let me in the comments box now what are the disadvantages okay because if there is something so there there will be advantages and there will be a disadvantage right now what are the disadvantages so first disadvantage is that high pressure drop we have talked about it high pressure drop due to change of direction of following fluid means my fluid direction change like that okay the first second and third means my following fluid change its its direction third time or we can say the three times right so that's why the delta p is here large the first case okay now the second case is that glow wall is not bidirectional means it is a unidirectional wall that is like in the case of gate wall that was the bidirectional right and in this like glow wall as we use it as a control wall as well so cavitation occurs also here due to choking inside this wall and cavitation or we can say the flashing okay so mainly these are the advantages of the glow wall but most of the time you will see that the glow wall used in the industry and in the control walls there are the glow wall okay so i hope you understood about the glow wall what are the glow walls working of glow walls where we use the glow wall advantages disadvantages of the glow wall identification of the glow wall if yes then good if you have any doubt you can let me in the comments box i'll give the reply as soon as possible right so thank you for watching See you soon.